morning. I am still in my bathrobe. This is not a bathrobe, but it's kind of a bathrobe, kind of a thing. Um, it's very early, and um, we are going to start off this video another what I eat in a day. This is I'm going to have a really busy day, so it is going to be some things that are like quick pretty easy but also really healthy and hopefully really delicious so um i absolutely love having using a slow cooker especially on busy days so uh just because it's out of the way don't have to think about it and i'm smelling it for the rest of the day so this is our our first recipe is going to be a slow cooker that i'm going to use for dinner so let me show you how to make it I am going to be making crock pot chicken and stuffing and it is from the skinniest dish. So what you do basically is you have a mix of stuffing and then two of uh, low fat or whatever cream of chicken soup. This is the one at Aldi's that I get. And then you mix it in with half an onion, two ribs of celery, and because I am seemingly incapable of following a recipe, I added some chopped up carrots because I had it and these all go together. So first step is to mix it all together. All right, in my crock pot, I have two pounds worth of chicken broth or chickens. I sprayed the pan first and then two cups of chicken broth. And then here's my oh so appetizing, not, mixture of stuffing, vegetables. And then I'm just going to put it on top of there and yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to put the lid on. It's on low and I'm going to just come back at dinner. Hello, I'm back and I am showered all ready for the day. I have this Mickey Mouse hoodie shirt thing on and feeling good. So I haven't been really hungry today. Um, so, but I do want to eat something for breakfast, even though it's pretty late for breakfast, but that's fine. Um, so let me show you what I'm going to have. I am really into strawberries. Even though it's winter, for some reason, strawberries are just tasting so sweet right now, naturally. So I'm just having both of uh, strawberries for zero. Then I have a dollop or whatever of whipped cream. Um, like, this is really small. I don't know if you could tell. But um, two tablespoons is zero points. And I'm going to just guess this is two tablespoons. So this is a zero point breakfast. I do not know how to properly um, uh, measure whipped cream. Hey, uh, lunchtime now. So I'm having leftover soup, which I will show you. But while I'm waiting for the soup and I'm just standing here in the kitchen, I'm also going to have a uh, banana to go with my lunch. So I'm going to have soup in a banana, but I'm eating the banana before technically the soup is even done. Uh, this is the chicken and wild rice soup that I had from the other video. So it is six points for uh, the portion, which I think is a cup. And I'm so excited because soup is something that I feel like just gets better as leftovers because the flavors have more time to marinate and hang out with each other, you know, so I am so excited. It is about 3.30, so I am going to have one of my nice little peanut butter, banana, oatmeal uh, bakes, I think they're what they're called. Um, I showed them in a video a little while ago, and I am actually really, really liking them. It's three points, and I just zap it in the microwave just to warm it up a touch, and it's super good. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about another thing, and this is, I want to know if you relate it at all. So, I'm not going to take it down now because it is a scary mess, but my hair, actually maybe, maybe I will. I don't know if you could tell because, but my hair, oh, because it's so gross. Yeah, no, no, no. 
my hair is super long okay so I'm not going to show you exactly how long but um when my when I am washing my hair and my hair is like wet and it's falling down my back it's like this far away from the crack and that's too like that's too long for me that's too long for me um so I'm going to have to get my haircut and I feel like I feel like such a weirdo because I have like opposing feelings about getting my haircut like on the one hand I'm super excited because I I feel like I'm getting like I just like getting my haircut you know I it's been over a year since I get my haircut I usually get my haircut once a year maybe twice if I'm like feeling cool or something like that but generally just once a year but like I feel generally I feel really excited because like it's just nice the feeling that you get after getting a haircut um but I also feel like for some reason going into any like beauty related places makes me feel really self-conscious and really nervous and I don't have like a hair salon or a hair person that I go to what I actually used to do and I really enjoyed it was that there was a like cosmetology school and I would go and get my hair cut there it was really cheap oh because I do not like to spend a lot of money on haircuts and like I just really don't because yeah I just really don't and I would and one day I would like to teach myself how to cut my hair which sounds like a disaster but I have weird dreams okay that's just who I am but um anyway so I used to go to a uh, hair school and it would take a lot longer like it would take forever and my haircut never has been probably will never be fancy because I'm just like first of all I'm really not picky in general I'm very low maintenance obviously for my hair and I just like I'm very very easy to please like I don't like I and I don't notice things like my sister-in-law straightened my hair for me like she did a really good job she pointed out that I was like oh my hair is pretty uneven didn't know you know I had I had no idea so it's like I don't I don't think the only bad haircuts I've ever had were when I have made my own mistakes and my decisions nothing on anybody there so I don't ha like I don't have s scarred but I just feel like I get anxious and I get self-conscious and I think maybe it's like the lights in the mirror and you're just staring at yourself because um because I definitely like go in with some makeup when I go there but like those lights okay this might like I hope someone can relate I feel like the lights at the hair salon are like the perfect lights for you to see the like little mustache you didn't know you had you know or like every single eyebrow hair that's out of place and like don't even get me started on the like crazy chin hairs and I try very hard to d pluck everything uh, before I go and I never I never do a good job and so I feel like I just sit there looking at myself and being like oh my gosh this person is judging me that that basically I like I I put my insecurities and I project them you know um, on on that during that but I so I was going to have I I do not have a good solution for uh, my very prolific thick chin hairs or mustache I don't have a system that works that I like like plucking I cannot keep that under control or else it would just take up way too much part of my day uh nair I used you know what I used to use nair maybe I'll go back and try it I just didn't really like it because sometimes I like burn myself or whatever and it just smells terrible um and then we also got like a at-home waxing thing that Eric will actually help me with because I'm a too big of a baby and so he'll actually do it for me so romantic I know right but there's there we have a very 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 
uh, open and honest marriage. He, yeah, we know, we share it all, you know. Um, but I feel like that does not work as well as I would like it to. And maybe just my husband is not a professional at this. Um, anyway, but I'm trying to just, um, I don't know. I'm also thinking that's like, I'm over 30 years old. Like who? And I'm happily married and stuff. And my husband loves me for who I am. Like, why do I feel, why do I let myself self feel judged for having weird hairs all over my face? You know, where it's like, who, who cares? Even if, even if the hair stylist person was, or hair, what is it called? Stylist maybe? Uh, was judging me. Like, who cares? Let, like, let them judge. If you, if you see, if you see hair on me in these videos, even if it's like this long, oh well. You know, it's like, it doesn't make me a bad person or whatever. Might make me lazy because most of the, my reasons is laziness <laughs> that I don't, I don't do. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I am excited. I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy. I have really thick hair and so I like to get my hair thinned out because it just grows back. Um, so I'll probably get my hair thinned and layered and then cut short. I'll probably, like, when it's curly, I probably want maybe, like, here, um, maybe about a little over shoulder length is what I'm thinking. But honestly, like, you see me with my hair up all the time. Uh, I feel it's fancy or special occasions where I wear my hair down, um, because my, my hair is very coarse and very itchy it's just the texture of my hair and so I do not like my hair touching me I am high maintenance in some areas okay I will I do not want to try to pull you about that anyway it's exciting it's I I'm excited also oh my gosh gray hairs it's undeniably happening. I don't know if you could tell or if you could see or something, but it's undeniably hap happening. I don't know, like, I've never dyed my hair or I've never really wanted to dye my hair. And a part of me wants wants to never have dyed my hair and just see what it goes naturally. But I don't, I don't know exactly how I feel about that. But, um, yeah, but they're there. 31 definite definite gray hairs who cares though right it's just it's just hair hair on my face hair on my head hair everywhere just hair <sighs> dinner smelling so good guys all right i'm going to ramble if i don't stop now i'll talk to you guys when we're i'm starting to do dinner i decided that i wanted to make uh the my mom's green green casserole if you don't know the steps it's very, very, very easy. Uh, well, not casserole, skillet, I don't know. My mom's green beans. Uh, if you do not know, um, if you look for my like Thanksgiving food, uh, I will show you, that's where I show you how to make it, look for that video. But it's so good. Let me, and look it. Is it weird that I think this is beautiful? I really do. Uh, it has bacon, it has mushrooms, it has green beans, it has onions, and I just think this is a beautiful work of art, if I do say so myself, and it's easy, and it is one point. Here is my dinner. I have one point for green beans, and I don't know if you could tell, but under here is um, about a cup of rice, and then on top of it, I have a cup of the green bean stuffing casserole. Now, I'm not going to lie, this green bean stuffing casserole is not what I pictured it, right? It does not look that appetizing. So we'll see. I will let you know how it turns out, how it tastes. Well, I am sorry to say that I will not be recommending that crock pot chicken and stuffing. It was such a disappointment because I wanted like the flavoring and I wanted the texture and I wanted the niceness of like the stuffing but it really like it was just like a pile of mush like it it was fine like it was fine it like it tasted good but nothing like 
nothing special or nothing really like specific or whatever but it was good over rice and then the green bean casserole or green my mom's green beans please be sure to try it yeah anyway it honestly it was a cheap it was a cheap meal and it was really easy and it did smell good it just didn't have that texture of stuffing and that nice crunchiness that i was wanting to anyways well thank you so much for sticking with me through the good and the bad if you're new please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye